Uh, good morning, beloved. This morning we are starting a new chapter. Hallelujah. We just finished chapter 19 of John, which we see the persecution, the suffering, the humiliation, the mockery of our Lord. We, we understand now uh, the glory of sin is shame, pain, inflammation. And as I said, Psalms 38 make, clarifies it very much as to what we will experience as a result of a sinful life so that you may understand clearly why <coughs> you need the Holy Spirit in your life why you need your creator and your maker in your life so that he can impart himself into you for when I'm cleanse you and wash you, sanctify you, set you apart unto good works because you see your works define you your works define you and God looks at our work and he also looks at our heart. So we just come out of 19 and we've seen the devastation. We've seen what our Lord has been through for us just to show us the agony, the agony, despair of sin. May none of us have to go through or experience anything like that because of what he has gone through for us to set us free mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and physically. Not only have he set us free, but he has given us of himself his spirit so that we will never have to experience all such just things. Beloved, I will just say it of you after journeying through John chapter 19. Make a commitment to the Lord, to your heart, mind, and soul. Spend time in his presence, quality time in his presence, beloved. I promise you, your life will never be the same. Those who write you off will come back to fall at your feet and ask you to forgive them. As Job, as Job and his friends did when the Lord restored them. Hallelujah. So this morning, we are just going to look at two verses as the Holy Spirit leads this morning. We are now going into chapter 20. Many of us know what chapter 20 is about. <clears throat> so, I have no intention whatsoever, none, to give you the full overview of chapter 20. Because I want you to journey with me. So, I'm just going to, by the grace of God, give you on two verses. Let's read John chapter 20, verse 2 verses. Now on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb early while it was still dark and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. Then she ran and came to Simon Peter and to the other disciples whom Jesus loved and said to them, They have taken away the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Verse 1, Now on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb early while it was still dark and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. God, let's put it like this. Your impossible is God's possibility. There is nothing that happens in your life, no matter how difficult it may seem, no matter how hopeless it may seem, rejected, abandoned, written off. There is a God and he have the final say in your life. Today, beloved, if you find yourself in a situation in life, <laughs> I think of those who are homeless, living on the bridges, <laughs> I think of those who, countries, scavenging, 
I think of those um, this morning, um, career seems. I think of those this morning, um, they have been, life has showed them a curveball wherein the day they were up tomorrow and they do not know what is going on. This morning I come to give you hope. Though there is no one around you, they have written you off as far they considered. That's it. But God have the final say in every dead situation. We serve a God who is always up to something. The Bible says his thoughts are not our thoughts, and his ways is not our ways. As high as the heavens, so is his thoughts. Beyond us. Those who come to see or to look at you in your situation, in your position, God will dispossess you from that position to repossess you. So that those who come to see you and hope that they will find you in that same position will run and tell something has happened. Something has happened. See, there are times in life when we reach a place in life where when we have no answer for nothing, it's felt the whole situation is dead. And others cannot do nothing for us. It's just between you and God. You and God. You and God. You cannot do nothing until God do something. Mm -hmm. You're dead. You are dead. But this morning, there is hope. They shall run and tell. What happened? He's not under that bridge no more. What happened? They're not broke no more. What happened? Something is happening. Verse 2. Then she ran to Simon Peter and to the other disciples whom Jesus loved and said to them, They have taken away the Lord out of the tomb and we do not know where they have laid him. You have been dispositioned from their position to be repositioned by God. Whatever your situation is today, Whatever your position is today, your position today wherein no one don't even want to be around you. You have lost many friends because you see, you have hit that bump in the road. You see, all that glory is gone from you. You're, you're not attractive no more. You, you're not appealing no more. Your phone ain't ringing no more. You're all by yourself. You're all by yourself. They come and look for you. Remember on the cross, they laugh when they mad. Take yourself down. He was in an imposition of situation, impossible. Your people will look at you in your demise, down, shameful, they scorn at you. They, they walk, they look at you.
But today, God, they forgot about God. The God of the impossible. The God who do miracles. The God of resurrection power. The God who love dead things and dead situations. Because it is the God of such situation because out of it, it can make new. Out of the ashes, it can take that ashes and turn it into something the world is amazed at. God shall turn your situation around. Don't give up. There is hope. As long as you know that there is God and you have a relationship with him, A lot of times, a lot of people who have been in your life, when it always seems well, but now this thing has happened in your life that they all disappear. You look around, it's just you and God. They be God of a reason why you allow it to be so. There's a song that says, He make all things new, and He make all things new and I will follow you forward I would hope that be your commitment because God the miraculous God the God of miracles the God who sees your situation your position and take you out of that position the one which people have walked by you passed by you look at you talk about you and said all manner of things about you except blesses you their story will change. They will be shocked and amazed as to how were you able to get out? How were you able to go from your disposition to be positioned in the way you are? And oh, I'm pretty sure they will get a revelation. And then there was God. Yes, to him, we give the glory, we give the honor, we give all the praise. When our situation that seems so impossible, you have been dispossessed. Everything has been taken from you, stripped. You're almost about to lose your mind, depression, everything has all come to you. You lay there, in the darkness of your house, you do it. You are so ashamed you don't want to go out. You are afraid of what they're gonna say. You you are being written off. But I come to tell you that there's a God who said, "Let there be light." Today. I come to let you know that those who come sees you in your dead situation and position, they shall run and tell because the expectation to see you still there and to come and to realize that you are gone, you are no more there, they shall shock them. The news shall be told you are not there no more. And it's between you and God as to where you are. But they will. The psalmist says, Though I was prepared a table before me in their presence of mine enemies. Enemies, friends, families, whoever they are, that have written you off. Your impossible God's possibility. Nothing is impossible for God. And he has the final say. He shall turn your story to his glory. And when he begin to get that glory out of your life, beloved, stay humble. He's taking you to places in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May God bless you this morning. May God bless you this morning. He shall change your story to his glory. Amen.